Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews and today we're looking at a keyboard, but not just any keyboard. This keyboard was sent to me by Banggood and it offers some really good bang for the buck. Now because it was sent to me, I will have to put some links in the description and in the comments, but other than that, this video is in no way possible influenced or anything. I just got a free keyboard and I'm giving you my opinion about it without trying to keep the people at Banggood happy at all. So, let's dive in. The custom keyboard hobby is a very interesting one, but like some of you, I guess, I'm a very lazy person. And so I wanted to get a custom keyboard without having to do all the soldering, for example, because I just don't like doing that because I keep burning my hands. So this one is a 10 keyless or TKL keyboard. And the really nice thing about it is it's hot swap, but most hot swap keyboards are actually fairly expensive. This one, this bare bone, is only 50 euros at the time of making this video. Now prices may change a little bit, who knows what it'll be in a couple of weeks or months or years, but at the moment it's less than 50 euros, so that's what I'm basing this review off. And so for 50 euros what you get is a plastic bottom, plastic top, but a metal key plate and a red PCB with hot swap sockets of course. Now this key plate is just a steel plate and it's not very thick but because they actually curved it it's really really strong. It also has a couple of taps here and there to really provide rigidity throughout the board so it's not going to be spongy in the middle and stiff on the edges it's actually really stiff everywhere. These little taps also make sure that the PCB below it lines up perfectly, so putting in your switches is a breeze. Now, while hot swap keyboards are really handy when you just want to test different switches or if you just want to build your custom keyboard easily, it's not as easy as just throwing switches and the keypads on there and expecting a full typing experience. You actually have to make sure your strings on your switches are perfectly straight and then you carefully place them in. Once I placed all my switches in, I did a quick check to make sure that, well, the keyboard was working and it was fully functional, which is of course great because sending stuff back and forward to China is going to be a nightmare logistically. I went with Kale Box Navy switches, which are just the clickiest of clicky switches. They're actually pretty heavy. I'm not sure if I like them all that much, but for a test, this is great. And because this keyboard is hot swap, if I just want to replace the switches later, it'll only take me two minutes, which is really a lot faster than having to desolder and solder on new ones. Now with a hot swap PCB you do get slightly less rigidity in your switch or how your switch is mounted to the PCB but I have found no problems whatsoever and the fact that the key plate is aligned perfectly and quite snug fitting without being overly tight really makes sure that the switch does not move about at all so thumbs up there. keyboard has actually quite a lot more going for it. For example, there's cable routing inside, so you can have the cable come out on the left, on the right, or in the center. However, I have to say, because the USB-C port is underneath and recessed quite a bit, you can't just put any connector on, and it's also a bit tricky to get the connector on in the first place. However, for a 50 euro keyboard, I think this one is really, really good value. Even if you don't end up liking it all that much, you can still use it as a switch tester and it will still be more affordable than most switch testers while giving you a realistic typing experience instead of just pressing the same switch over and over. And so I think this really is a great first custom mechanical keyboard. It offers really good value at sub 50 euros for a hot swap keyboard. Um, but what's also really cool is you can then use it as a base to modify on. So because it's a full plastic shell, it's actually really easy to get creative with paint. Um, one mod that I would definitely suggest though is lubing your stabilizers. The stabilizers on here are included, but they're not lubed. So you might want to get your lube out and put some on here. Other than having to lube your stabilizers though, this keyboard is really good just out of the box. So I'll be using this one as a base to do keyboard modifications on later on but it's just something you can buy and start using right away, which is definitely good. Now, because I'm not just talking to typists, I'm also typing to the gamer crowd who want more FPS, it's very good that you also have a bunch of RGB profiles, which you can easily cycle through 
using the function modifier and then your navigation cluster and arrow keys. Um, I wish there were more instructions um, because you get 12 instructions in English and then 14 in Chinese and Google Translate doesn't really do a very good job here. However, um, there is a link in the description so you can go to the product page and that will give you slightly better instructions on how to actually go through the RGB modes. And so while this product is called a programmable USB-C keyboard, I do have to say the only thing programmable is the RGB. You can't program macros in there or at least I haven't found any instructions on how to do so. Anyway, that was it for me today with the Banggood TKL Hotswap RGB USB-C programmable uh, keyboard or whatever it's called. Again, links are in the description and in the comments so you can buy one yourself if you want to. If you do, please use the links on this video because I'm sure Banggood is actually tracking these. Um, but that was it. I really like this keyboard. I think for less than 50 euros it's a steal and a great base to start off if you're just getting into the custom keyboard world. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Do the whole thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, bell, subscribe, that sort of thing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!